Well, DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen says the agency is treating the border crisis with the same protocols as a major national disaster. Let's bring in our first power panel, former chief counsel for the House Judiciary Committee, Julian Epstein, president of the National Border Patrol Council, Brandon Judd, and RNC Committee Chairwoman for California, Harmi Dillon. Welcome to all of you. Good evening. Good Thanks, evening. Shannon. All right, Brandon, I want to start with you. What is the truth, factually, party aside, ideology aside, about what's going on at the border? So if you look at the crisis, uh, we have the biggest problem that the United States Border Patrol has ever faced in its history. I worked in Tucson in the mid-2000s when it was the biggest crisis at that time. Now we're facing something completely different. We've had 25,000 people cross our border um, that were able to evade uh, apprehension that we don't know who they were, what their intentions are, that are now here in the United States. And they've, they've done that because all of our resources are being taken to handle all of these asylum seekers. This is an actual crisis, and we have to do something about it. And if we don't, we're going to be in trouble. Well, Julian, across the partisan divide, it seems like people are beginning to agree there is a crisis, whether they want to call it humanitarian or a national security crisis or both. I mean, they agree that the numbers that are surging past uh, are now leading to a situation where more and more people are left in a situation where they're either going to be released, and they know that, and they're coming here as family units or as unaccompanied minors, minors or they're going to be turned around and really not have a chance. Uh, to pursue the life they would like to simply because the numbers you know CBP has said it, it's catastrophic they cannot handle the processing what do you say I think you're sticking your head in the sand if you don't agree or acknowledge that there's a crisis here we're seeing illegal crossings increase uh, by a factor of threefold or mm -hmm. fourfold so I don't think there's much debate that there we are facing a crisis here I think Chris Chris Nielsen's uh, Secretary Nielsen's letter to Congress was a very good and compelling explanation of the crisis. I think you have to, the, the, the key question here is whether we're just going to see a bunch of chest thumping and political posturing or we're, we're really going to try to fix the problem. And I think fixing the problem involves first using efforts at the front line, carrots and sticks with Mexico and our Central American, uh, which, who should be allies. Uh, Central America is falling into disrepair. You're seeing authoritarian leaders who are affiliating with criminal syndicates. It's, it's, it's chaos, and the U.S. has got to step in and play a leadership role. I think cutting off aid is the wrong thing to do. Hmm. That's the first step. The second step is border security. The system for processing, whether it's asylum seekers or people trying to come in under, under, under other forms, uh, other uh, laws in the immigration system, is completely broken. The system's overwhelmed. We don't have the ability to handle the number of people that are crossing. We don't have the security forces. I mean, it, the system is in complete disrepair. Yeah. The third part of this is once people get here, what, what, what Secretary Nielsen refers to as the big suck, the incentives for Central Americans to come to the United mm -hmm. States, we're doing nothing about that. We're doing nothing about visa overstays. We're doing nothing about employer sanctions. Yeah. If we're serious about this, we've got to deal with all three prongs. The, the, using carrots and sticks with their Central American con, uh, countries, fixing the border security problem and the processing problem, which is in complete disrepair, mm -hmm. and then taking away all the incentives for people to abuse yeah. the system once they're here. I mean, Harmeet, let me bring you into this because uh, it, it's interesting because uh, the New York Times also points to this, as did the president today, that it's a two-pronged really big issue as far as the immediate uh, enforcement here. He says, um, he says Mexico and he says Congress. New York Times says this, migration surge from Central America was spurred in part by Mexican policies. According to migrants, local officials, and migration scholars, this increase in northward migration has been partly spurred by the policies of President Andres Manuel López Obrador of Mexico. Deportations have plummeted under his watch. Now, the president, Harmeet, tonight speaking at um, an event, he did say, listen, Mexico is stepping up. We're starting to see some action from them. But he's told them... It is going to be really rough for you. I'm going to close down this border. He said today that security is more important to me than trade. But he also said to Congress, you got to get something done. And he says it's two pronged. Those are the two responsible bodies. Yes. Well, the problem here is that the president seems to be the only one really taking leadership and trying to propose some solutions here. I think closing some of these 50 border uh, checkpoints and crossings is one area that he could do, but it's going to hurt Americans as well. What we really are not talking about here is that members of Congress on the Democratic side and some on the Republican side actually are okay turning a blind eye to this significant problem. And Democrats, quite frankly, are pandering to this voter base because they see it as a future voter base for them. So they actually 
don't want to stem this problem. They think it's fine, and they spend all day long. And we haven't talked about the fact that most of these candidates for president of the Democratic side are condemning what our government is doing at the border to try to keep Americans safe. And that's outrageous. And so when you have Jay Johnson, when you even have uh, CNN commentators talking about this being a crisis and having uh, abuses in our our asylum system. We need some legal reforms of the asylum system. We need to plug those loopholes. We need to provide more human beings at the border on our border forces to uh, take care of these people, make sure there isn't violence. We have human trafficking going on across this border. This is a really serious problem. Kristen Nielsen talked tonight about the fact that there are actually gangs of people who are recycling children at the border. They bring yeah. them across with a family and then they send them back. They're like human passports. That's outrageous. Turning a blind eye to it as yeah. our Can politicians are going to Washington are is 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 compounding human suffering on yeah. both sides of the border. Unfortunately, we're, we're out of time on this issue, but that's something we should all be able to agree on, regardless of party or ideology, that kids should never be used or trafficked that way. we got to find some solutions. So we appeal to those who can legislate those, and that's not us. Anyway, thank Thanks, you, Jen. panel. Great to have you with Thanks. us. Thank you.